Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Direct Selling Shift. Blake here. Before we dive in, can I just take a minute and say thank you and just express an enormous amount of just genuine gratitude for so many of you that are showing up every Monday, supporting the show, sharing the show. I was blown away the other day meeting with the DSN team when they told me that we're already approaching nearly 10,000 unique individuals with Direct Selling Shift. It's crazy. I feel like we're just getting out of the gates only a few months into the show and the response has been absolutely inspiring and that doesn't happen without you. Yes, you listening right now for showing up, for sharing, for plugging in. So I just want to say thank you. I'm so honored and excited to bring these conversations to you every week. And I'm passionate. I am passionate. I hope you feel that in these conversations. I'm passionate about the work we're doing all across the direct selling industry and just the ripple of impact that all of us collectively as a community can make. And I'm not just talking about products and services and brands. I'm talking about on changing the lives of the way so many people wake up every day. The work we do here is real. And I feel like we're just getting started on a way to help so many people reach even more impact through your businesses today. I'm grateful. I'm excited. I'm honored. And you know what? I'm committed. I'm committed to continuing to bring you the best of the best from across the channel and unpacking the shifts that are making a difference today, here, in the now, growing in today's climate so you can unlock your next level in 2024. So I just wanted to start by sharing all of that. And you know what this week is. It's a shift summary. I love our time together. We get a chance to pause, look back to last week's guest interview, so many amazing conversations, and really get a chance to just extract a couple huge themes, big patterns, major takeaways, as a way to remind us of maybe some of the things we got listening last week and challenge us to put these in to action. It's about implementation, execution, in order to move our business and our life forward. And last week we had an absolute powerhouse guest, a remarkable three decade career in direct selling, like that's a lot of years a track record of building organizations spanning 21 countries, over 150,000 distributors. How many of you, pause, real question, would love to have a team spanning dozens of countries and hundreds of thousands of people? It is possible. He has a unique perspective as both someone that has built in the field in a corporate role and is currently the acting president of the Association of Network Marketing Professionals, ANMP. So truly an, a remarkable guest and conversation. And that was none other than Garrett McGraw last week. So if you missed the full episode, er, rewind. That's what I love about podcasts. You can go back and you can catch up and definitely dive in. It was a fully loaded conversation of insight and wisdom. But what I want to do here, shift summary, our time together is just highlight a couple key shifts from my conversation with Garrett last week that I know can make an impact for you and your business right now. Starting with shift number one, we need to shift away from our stay stuck story. I'd never heard that before. When Garrett said that last week, we got to get out of our stay stuck story. It took me a minute. Wait, stay stuck story? Yeah, the story we are telling ourselves that is keeping us stuck where we are. Are. It's crucial that we move away from the limiting beliefs that might be keeping us from going to our next level. We rise to the height of our limiting beliefs. That was something Garrett gave us last week. The level of our life that we live, the level of achievement, success, prosperity we unlock will be determined by the height of our limiting 
beliefs. It always starts as the mind game. So we need to get out of that story, which begins with awareness. So I have to stop, pause, ask you right now, reflection, what story do you have between your ears? That inner dialogue that sometimes sneaks in that you know that story is keeping you stuck. Hey, we all have stay stuck stories. It's a constant game of being aware of the stories that are keeping us where we are in order to unlock what we can become. Now, once we're aware of the story, we can start to make a shift. But I love that Garrett gave us some tactical advice, not just a golden nugget. He gave us the golden hour. One of my favorite parts of last week's conversation. Did you guys catch this? It is a system that Garrett has developed from learning from mentors and some of the best of the best in his three-decade career. And he's packaged it all into a really simple set of steps he calls the golden hour to help us get into a frame to make these shifts. And the golden hour, last week, it had a couple of different components. He talked about how our golden hour will typically include some prayer and gratitude. And that can be received no matter what your belief system is, whatever your religion is, take that off the table. You guys, we all can have a time where we have a gratitude moment. He said a golden hour is also gonna have reading, right? Leaders are readers. We need to dedicate time to reading, even if it's just 10 pages of a good book. You can do 10 pages. It's simple. It cleanses our mind. It gives us inspiration and value and perspective. And a golden hour also having to do with a little bit of reflection. Let's review, right? Yesterday, let's plan for today. Those are some of the components of the golden hour. So that is a powerful practice that can align your mindset clarify intentions, right? Foster a proactive approach to how we launch every single day and have serious power in programming yourself, programming your mind to start to attract the things in your life and really experience the opportunities that might be in front of you right now. They can move you forward. So make the shift. Now, shift number two, that I got from our conversation with Garrett really came down to shifting our perspective. Now, this might sound funny, but hear me on this, that what you're doing right now, the business you're in right now in direct sales, network marketing, affiliate marketing, whatever term you're using, it's a profession. I learned early in my career that, hey, if you treat it like a hobby, it's going to pay you like a hobby. But if you treat what you do like a business, it's going to pay you like a business. You guys, this channel for over 100 years has been such an amazing distribution vehicle to bring so many ideas, innovations, revolutions to communities around the world. You know people right now that have achieved maybe levels of financial independence and freedom that you dream of off the vehicle you are in. There are people right now, guys, that are unlocking levels of lifestyle through direct selling, it's a profession. And we need to treat it as such. I love how Garrett gave us the term fact stack. I'd never heard that before. I'm I'm borrowing that one. The fact stack on your business, on this industry, and understanding not only just the validity, but the outright awesomeness of what we not have to do, what we get to do. How This channel, your business, I'm willing to bet, offers not just the ability to earn income, maybe weekly or monthly, but repeatable income. Doing something once and getting paid over and over and over and over and over again through this channel, you can share an opportunity with others, build a small team or a massive community or a mainstream worldwide global movement leverage in other people's time and energy and talents in a way that can grow your income. It's not just you, community, mentors, and the ability to model and collapse and compress time. And probably more importantly than all of that and the income potential, aligning with something you're truly passionate about. Something that's not just work, not just a paycheck, but something that's deeper, that anchors into your purpose your passion, your calling, something that lights you up, something that's meaningful and matters. And you guys, that is beyond a profession. 
So we gotta make sure we treat it as such. So let's make the shift. And shift number three is in your journey, it's essential to shift your focus, not just from measuring your accomplishments, not just about the results this week or the points on the board, but it truly is about, do I have your attention? Valuing what you learn along the way. You guys, this acknowledges that the journey we're on is ongoing, right? It's not a destination. And therefore, it's going to be about continuous learning and growth over time. That is a mindset shift we have to adopt. It's too easy to get stuck on the bank account, on the volume, on the BV, QV points, on the scoreboard. Let's not forget to remember you're learning along the way. And with that frame of mind, all of the challenges you overcome become opportunities for growth and progress. We get a chance to continue to reinvent and adapt ourselves and be open to constantly learning. What new skill can I get today? What new strategy can I pick up? What approach can I apply? That's what these conversations are for. You guys got this. You're here. You're doing this. We got to embrace and adapt because that's where the world's at. Surrounding yourself with growth-minded people. There's some people with limiting beliefs that you're not going to be able to change. But these conversations, this show, these people, your mentors, they're growth-minded individuals. Don't underestimate the value of that and the impact it can have on helping you become better. I love how Garrett said that, hey, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. I love that because all of us, let's be honest, sometimes that imposter syndrome sneaks in. There's some part of us that tries to make us feel like we don't belong there. Or we're not good enough to be there. No, you get to be around people that challenge you to be better, that inspire you to raise a standard. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. If you're in a room of people that are pushing you and challenging you and have set a pace and are leading the way, you should be proud of yourself that you're in the right room for learning and growth and an environment that's gonna help you raise your standard, get better over time. So we gotta shift our focus to embrace continuous learning. It really is about what we can learn along the way. And if we're constantly learning a perpetual student, we're always gonna progress. We're always gonna be moving toward better. And as long as we continue our commitment for learning, we're gonna grow, we're gonna evolve, and I promise you, the results will come. So let's make the shift. So there you have it. Those are three shifts we can work on this week. So, hey, my challenge for you, let's shift away from your stay stuck story. Be aware of it. Recognize it. Use that golden hour. Start now, today. Let's shift your perspective. This is a profession. Treat it like a business. It'll pay you like a business. And don't let anybody ever create doubt in your mind opposite of that. And let's make sure it's not just about the scoreboard our accomplishments, what are we learning? What'd you learn in this conversation? What'd you learn today? What'd you learn from Garrett? Be proud of yourself for being here, for showing up, for doing what it takes to get better. You guys know where we are, the show every single Monday, new episodes live. We're on Apple Podcasts, we're on Spotify, we're on Audible. You can watch the show on YouTube. Yeah, we got video as well. So, hey, how many guys love listening? How many guys love watching? Love seeing all the platforms grow. So follow the show. And as always, a shift is a gift. And if you found value in today's conversation or any of our conversations, take the minute to pause a beat and share the link, share the show. You never know where, hey, you give a link to somebody, they listen to the episode that may give them the shift they need to go to their next level. And there's a ripple effect to that. You sharing with one person that creates an inspired shift can create a ripple that leads to so many. That is the power we have. And that's why we're here. That's why we're showing up. That's why we're doing what we're doing. And if anybody comes to mind that you think might be a great future guest, hey, we're taking nominations. It's awesome to see so many people stepping up and saying, oh, here's a mentor. Check out this. And you can nominate directly. Hey, you have that power over at directsellingshift.com. Check out the website and you can nominate by clicking the bottom below. And we're doing our best to uh, push out a lot of content clips to inspire other individuals. Thank you, DSN, for everything they're doing to support these conversations and really bring it 
to the entire channel. Now, next week, get ready. Super inspiring episode coming. I had so much fun in our conversation. The guest coming on Monday, originally from Kansas, now in Texas, hint, hint, a single mom of three, started with a bachelor's degree in biology, 15 years in the hospital industry, then experienced a remarkable transformation. You'll hear her story that led her into this channel, an absolute powerhouse in direct sales. Today, she is the number one earner in her company, dynamic speaker, true expert of social selling. She's going to unpack so many tips on Monday. Some even call her the $10 million mentor. She's deeply passionate about the well Western lifestyle. We have a little fun in our conversation about that. But this mission to empower others to achieve success in this industry. She is a force of inspiration on Monday. New guest interview. Make sure you set your alarms, follow the show, set your notifications. It's going to be a good one. In closing, hey, I just want to remind you, you have what it takes. You don't even realize the incredible power you have within you. And I just want you to know that. I want you to realize that you are far more powerful than you are even aware right now. Just have a little faith. And with faith and belief and showing up to conversations like this, you're going to be able to conquer anything that comes your way. You are enough. Your potential is enormous. And simple actions, doing little things that we're talking about on these shows over time, they can lead to remarkable transformation. So don't worry if you're like, is that it? Yeah, simple things over time unlock extraordinary doors. So embrace the shifts from this week. Thank you guys for showing up and know that this is gonna be your year and you're doing the things just like showing up to the show in order to learn and get better and unlock your next level. And we're here to keep bringing you amazing new perspective and insights and guests to help you accelerate that path. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you. See you next week.